Hey there, Jory here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator, and welcome to another premiere. And oh boy, I'm excited for this one, as today's flying from London Heathrow to Frankfurt, making this the very first leg of our New York America mega trip. Very, very, very excited for today flying with British Airways from here in Heathrow to Frankfurt, where I spend the night in Frankfurt, and then tomorrow morning, we'll then fly out to Lufthansa on the Boeing 747-8, over to New York JFK. So, uh, yes, this is a premiere, not a live stream, meaning if you want to follow this flight in real life, you can do so via a link in the chat, and pin the comments as soon as we push back, or a description in the, uh, link in the description, the comments, wherever. But, uh, yes, let's say, very excited for this one. We'll jump in the cockpit, set the aircraft up, and prepare ourselves for our departure. Uh, got your sets run already in the background. It's restart the passenger boarding process, so let's just run a race, that is just straight away. So, Heathrow to Frankfurt, BA914, 35,000 crews, 1 hour and 5 minutes on the clock, departure in approximately... Well, 30 minutes. We're departing at uh, 6.30 p.m. UK time, which will be 15.30, sorry, uh, 17.30 Zulu. A320, 177 passenger on board, the aircraft has Wi-Fi, no entertainment, no body music, they've got a British Airways safety briefing. Uh, British Airways, yes to snacks, no to meals, customers not required, but I'm to continue. Let's just start boarding from there. Then quickly rush down to the FMS. Mass and balance. And then get that to sort of start building at the same time. So we will. Did I not do the. Okay, report from Simbrief. That's fine. Go to mass and balance. There you go. Passengers, cargo, all good there. Right, load aircraft, do it fast, go alongside Pack X. And while it does it, that. Head to the FMS and start plugging our routes in. So flying from Echo Golf Lima Lima to Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot. Uh, flight number is Speedbird 914 November. Cost and next is going to be 12. The cruising altitude of flight level, sorry, flight plan. Flight level 350. This page. Get rid of you. Uh, zero for wet on board today will be 62.2. We've got centre gravity. We can grab that from our load sheets. Single load sheets, 29.4. And the blocks are on board today. Once it's loaded, it will be 6.4. That's all good. That's our flight plan. Well, that's our initialization complete. Over to the flight plan. Snap of my routing. Not too many waypoints today. Starting off with Detzling. Uh, from Detzling, we fly the Lima 6 Airway, which takes us to Dover. Then it's uniform Lima 9 to Conan. Uh, uniform Lima 607 to Speed. Tango 180 to Minoko and that's our flight plan. So setting runway 27 right on Deadling 2 Foxtrot departure, expecting runway 07 right on arrival on the Unoco 3 Delta. Insert that. Uh, listen to the Heathrow ATIS. Heathrow is active for us at the moment, which is pretty good. So thank you very much for that. Over to 121 decimal 935. And let's listen to the ATIS. In fact, we'll do that. I was a great passenger as well. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'll show his flights 914 from London Heathrow to Frankfurt. Flight to say about an hour and five minutes. Nice short one for us today. As we make our way over to Germany. Look at the weather for you at the other end. Clear skies being reported at temperature around 18 degrees centigrade. We will give an update though later on the flight once we've made our way to closer. Uh, any questions? Please come on board today. Otherwise, we'll be back, relax, and enjoy the flight on board British Airways today. So, no, not delay, just a public message, a general message for the cabin. Ah, hello there. <laughs> uh, see on board today, I believe, is a 9F. So, I'm actually towards the front of the aircraft. Well, this is 9A, so I'm in front of the wing, but on the right hand side. I'll need to do a replay later on, I might try and get something a bit closer to that. Uh, yes, so. Uh, 
Right, let's do the let's do the ATIS. Let's get our weather first of all. Departure runway zero nine a right. Transition level zero six zero wind two zero zero degrees seven knots variable between one six zero and two five zero degrees. Visibility more than ten kilometers. Clouds no clouds detected. Temperature one niner two point one four. QNH one zero one five hectopascal. Acknowledge receipt of information Bravo on first contact. Oh, right, so I forget this is shortly. Information Bravo time one nine one seven two automatic arrival runway zero nine left departure runway zero nine right transition level zero six zero. Let me get checked out because the voice tells me it's zero nine departure. The text side of it tells it's two seven. So when we get when we get request our clearance, we'll double check which our departure runway is. Apart from that, information Bravo is active and the rest of information is fine. Contact Heathrow 119 Decimal 7-3. Right. Good evening, Heathrow Director. This is Speedbird 91 for November, type A320, 7516 Heathrow, requesting clearance to Frankfurt. Speedbird 9141, ready to get clear. Hello, clear to Frankfurt, Betling 2 Fox Trot Departure, then I 27 right, Squawk 2633. Speedbird 911 November is cleared to destination Frankfurt. This will be by the Destling 2 Fox Trot Departure, runway 27 right, Squawk 2633. Speedbird 9141, ready back, correct. Information Bravo, QNH 1011. QNH 1011. Okay, I think this is a. Uh, I set the dates. One zero one one, one zero one one, and one zero one one. Perfect. Uh, right. So, two seven right on Detling to uh, Detling to Fox Trot departure. Two seven right, Detling to F. Insert that. And then there should be no excuses as Detling links to Detling. Perfect. Uh, right, initial climb will be 5,000 feet out of Heathrow, so set 5,000. Uh, 101, 101 set. Overhead panel. Down services, just finishing off the, uh, I don't know why you're not doing the, <laughs> the doors opening there. Give two seconds to open the doors for the ground crew. Uh, down services. Uh, four cargo, rear cargo. It now make more sense for the, uh, loading of bog heads. I don't want you to do containers either. The A20 should be just conveyor belt, but you never know. British Airways seems to be Royal Mail. We have a bit of cargo to go out today. Uh, apart from that, we are, well, pretty much ready to, uh, to get going. I did request a fuel truck earlier on. I'm hoping the fuel truck won't uh, take too long to appear. Let me check my grease GSX services. What are you doing at the moment? Uh, so, fuel truck service requested. Boarding passengers now. Hopefully, fuel and truck again. It all comes down to where in the airport fuel trucks come from, how long it has to travel to actually get to it. Right, uh, do our departure performance. Do a check of that. Sync the live weather and calculate. So, yeah, connection 1011 is the correct connection. Right, so V1143, rotate 150, V2152, thrust reduction at 1000 feet, uh, flex temp 60, flaps 1 with the Training sets down two. Let's put that into our performance. So it's one four seven one five zero one five two one thousand stroke one thousand. That's just that one. Uh, right flaps one slash down. 0 0.2. In a total, you can just put the minus key in it and do it for you. In this case, you just have to put it out word for word. Uh, 6 degrees of flex and thrust out at 1000. Cool, so that's our departure performance set. Black pan set. Everything's been set. We've received the message. We have not yet. So our motion's not yet arrived. Cool, that fresh the engine there. Truck arrives and asks to do. Right, passive fish boarding. 
So they're going to clear Jebbage out of the way now. Very soon, Pretty Echo for departure. As soon as the truck gets here, because I did the fueling loading at the same time as passengers with Phoenix, I'll probably just wait for it to arrive and just pretty much get rid of it straight away. But hoarding should be complete now, which is why it's got rid of that. Hoarding completed, fuel trucks on the way, and then once we've done that, it's prepared for pushback and departure. Uh, G bus on the few um, so British Airways operates the A20s with IFE engines, not CFMs. On this occasion, G bus was one of the original, one of the early um, BAs and uh, A320s, and it's had the old um, CFM engines. Left the other one a couple of years ago, actually. Uh, I don't know why the GSX baggage thing is not disappearing. I find out with GSX sometimes as well. Messages will just kind of hang there for a bit. It will eventually go away once you've like, set a different service. A bit of an annoyance. Alright, camera crew just introduced some passengers, which is fine. Wait for this fuel truck to arrive, wherever it may be. So we'll scout mission, shall we? Let's find our refueler. Where are you coming in from? <laughs> She's coming all the way from the Heathrow maintenance uh, hangar, which is all the way over there at the end of the airports. That would be a pain. Yeah, there are there are a few receiving stations at Heathrow. Are you? You're a, uh, you're a pushback tug. Uh, tell you what, if I request pushback on boarding, that potentially cancel the uh, the fuel truck. Never know. Worth a try. Worth a try. Uh, Prepare fish back in the pot shot. Uh, yeah, okay, you need to wait for fuel to complete, so that's fine. Don't you worry. We've got a little bit of time left. Uh, yes, again, if you're just joining us now, this is a premiere. It's a live stream, and this is a real one fight I'm doing. Flying to Frankfurt tonight. Uh, tomorrow, I don't have a connection with a Lufthansa Boeing 748 to New York JFK. Uh, I actually am re redoing this video because originally it was an A319 scheduled flight. Now it's an upgrade to an A320, and so I thought, got a bit of time on my hands. I'm actually filming this fight tomorrow in real life, so I'm recording. Um, yeah, if I've got a bit of time on my hands, if now I'm on the A320 in real life, I might as well do an A320 in the sim as well, just to keep it current. Sim with my um, EasyJet uh, yesterday, uh, where in a sim I did it in the Totus 319, but last minute change, they might be ready to do an A320 instead, so I had to move around that. Now, C16F, we've got a. Uh, not the best view ever, just stuck behind the. Uh, the what do you call it? Stuck behind the. Wing. Maybe he's actually turned on right now. Uh, did I request that? I didn't. It should be on. Especially fuel trucks on its way. Let me uh, kill that two seconds. Not GPU power. Hmm. Well, that's a noisy over here. Come on, Ethro. Where's your fuel truck space? No wonder the delays at the moment. That's what you're having to deal with. So it's a lovely scenery. There you go, fuel truck. Perfect. Uh, it's a lovely scenery, the NEC in Heathrow. Uh, so, since the main update came out a little while ago, frame rates massively improved. One of the GSX and A3 where the Heathrow uh, loading thing for it. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure to fly out of Heathrow now. And GSX, again, as temperamental as it may be. For example, crashing into other vehicles that I should know where they are. Um, yeah, it does a fine job. It does a really fine job. Alright, in right, position. Wait for them to move into the. Uh, move not into the aircraft. And then. We just set the fuel up to what it should be, one CAPU burn, and then go from there, I guess. Oh, that is... Look at that! Even though the little um, overfill thing on the floor. The, anima the, the animation is fantastic. Just... Temperamental. Let the refuel truck do its thing. Ok, 
AP site to uh, fire and shut down just in time for the uh, refueling process. Up he goes. Insert nubs into the wing. There we go. Please use your airplane fuel system to set the desired fuel quantity. Cool. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Return. Phoenix. Uh, mass and balance. And then the fuel just set up again. So, fuel requirement was uh, 6393. Uh, loaded. Ah, hang on. Reset all. Okay, hang on. Bear with me two seconds. My flights. Please use your airplane fuel system to yep, I'm on it. I'll just have it instantly just to sweep it up a little bit to ground services. No weight and balance. Uh, no deck crafts. And just do it instantly. Cool. So, they're refueling. Does that have a number on the side as well? It does! It has a little number on the side that says how much fuel's gone on with the aeroplane. Oh, that's like, like small just like that. That's what GSX should be. Not fighting with Kuto every three minutes because it's decided to cancel out on you and fall apart. <laughs> this is the GSX I know and love, not whatever we've had in the past. Intention detail, fantastic. Right, that's only about 15 minutes. We're doing alright for time, I guess. Not the end of the world for that. Uh, runway 27 right, so pushing back and pretty much going to depart straight behind us. There's no real delay on that. I've got the ground charts for that. Hmm, tell the lie, 27 right now, that's far into the airport, so I'll probably push back onto Alpha, then go Alpha all the way around. Yeah, so, hang on. Uh, yeah, so, we're at Tunnel 5A, push back facing north, head around, Alpha, make a right, and then down to the very end. Okay, so we've got, we've got a little bit of taxi ahead of us. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, Decker in the area. And that starts the APU properly this time. See about someone's now have the aircraft fueled. Fuel pumps on. And then check the other power for anything else that we may need. How to get to the aft position. The rear, uh, it's on. Slow power sets, open lighting. Yeah, turn down a little bit, but since the sun will set on this flight today, we'll have that active. Everything else looks pretty good. It's perfect. Right, they're gonna drive away. Let's request our push and start. Speedbird, another one for November, is ready for push and start. Speedbird 914 November, stand 516, push and start approved, face north. Push start approved, face north for Speedbird 914 November. Perfect. So, wait for the gear sets to catch up. Any second now. <laughs> ah, we still can't be message at least. It cleared the um, load sheet. Atsu, AOC, thank you for choice to send it over to us. Received, load sheet, and accept. We've got Frankfurt, aircraft, and numbers. Cool. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Perfect. So, we're talking about the position. APU available, APU bleed on. What power can come off? And to clear the aircraft's position on the aircraft as well. So, chocks get rid of, GP get rid of. Anything that's left is now linked directly to ground surface X. Departure check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Uh, Beacon has come on to start ground crew set or if engine start up.
So I need to push back to the to the left. So no, it goes right. And the goes left. Uh, that one needs to do is it? Not yet. There you go. Continue push back. Uh, so goes right to our left. Did the time just change? 1819. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, the sun just got so bright all of a sudden. <laughs> there we go. Nice lift it. Release parking brakes. Parking brakes released. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Roger that. So, engine to ignition. Wait until we clear the safety zone, which is going to be this line there. That's if I want to clear this bit here. Should be okay to get going. Right. Engine to, to start. For an important safety demonstration. Thank you for flying with us. Looking good. Wait right for the engine available and start engine number one. We're now going to explain the emergency procedures on this British Airways aircraft. The captain and the crew are here for your safety. It is important that you pay attention and follow instructions. Actually, quite a decent AC coverage on the flight today. First, uh, yeah, so I've got London Director on, Crank Flight Towers online, should be on my hope for our approach. Parking brake set, engine on start. Thank you. Uh, very gently dropping our aircraft off. into the ground there. <laughs> That's another company message. Uh, that's fine. Right. Uh, menu. From the low sheet is it? Let's see. Received. Load sheet. I'm just going to put that. Same information. Don't know why you sent it twice to us. Make the engine one time available. In the unlikely event of the aircraft having to make an emergency landing, you'll be told to take this protective brace position. But when seated facing rearwards in Clubwell, uh, this position. Mr. PG this point. Any second down hits 400. Left is clear. Right is clear. To the closest usable exit. Taking no, unless I missed it. High heel shoes must be taken off as they may tear the evacuation slide. There they go. Engine available. Right. APU shut down. Flight controls checked. So set that. There are two exits at the rear of the aircraft and two at the front of each cabin section. Uh, Your crew will now point good. Out the Thank you, bypass been removed. Ailerons, good. To open the doors, move the handle good. In the yep. Thank of the you. Bye bye. That's down open to one. Thank you. Time spoilers. Arms. We need to know more. You have five of the direct hello departure message. Good evening, sir. Important number 33, 2010, Chris Five, information Charlie, Chris Five. Right, so we have to wait for him to do his uh, clearance first, and then we can put our taxis in his intentions. Clearance to destination, where the Max Fit One Fox Shot departure on my T7 right, Squawk 3414. Your oxygen mask is behind the panel just above your head. Many thanks, Max Fit One Fox departure at the runway 27 right, 3414. Mask towards you to open your supply. Please know that five four zero maybe that correct information Charlie QNH one zero one one. 
And one zero one one. Thank you. Speed bed on a month of November is ready to taxi. Speed bed minor one four November. Are you able Alpha five for departure? Uh, alpha five. Yeah, easy. Uh, a firm Alpha five is available first. Speed bed nine one four November. Perfect. You can choose Audi point Alpha five by Alpha. Alpha five via Alpha for speed bed nine one four November. Find it released. Increase throttle. And let's go to the runway. Should tax lights are set. Should be a very pretty sunset tonight. Look at the cloud night at the moment. Should be very, very pretty indeed. Stage 3 completed. That is admittedly the old British Airways Stage 3 thing. Uh, flower duets. But I do much prefer that to the, uh, to the new one. Flower duets will always be the classic of the ASA demo. The cabin is ready. Thank you. Cabin crew, an excellent job for us tonight. I would say, frame rate could be a tad bit better, but this is definitely the worst about either of us for sure. I remember doing the um, the uh, flying events at Heathrow on the, on my video where I'm down to like maybe three or four FPS, and actually less than that because there's just so much going on. This this is relaxed. Got a BA three twenty at stand at the moment. They're currently flying out to uh, Bologna. To Alpha for five, which is not too far ahead of us. So that's Alpha eleven on our left. Get down a little bit slower. I don't go at twenty five knots. Cool. Calm down, Andrea. I know you're in a rush, but it's not that much of a rush. <clears throat> So that's Alpha 10 at West and East. Alpha 10 West being the former, uh, one of the former runways here at Heathrow. Go back to today when they used to have six. So you'll see the line where the runway used to be. Right. Uh, let's set the auto brakes to max. Take off the test, take off the normal, we are ready to go. Pass the alpha 9. Speedbird Nano for Whiskey will be ready to depart as soon as you reach alpha 5. To a 9014 and via alpha 5, service winds 210 degrees, minor from a 27 right to clear for takeoff. Fire Alpha 5, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff, do both manual for November. Yeah, gas clear, it's nice and early. I mean, to be fair, Heathrow, unless it's really quiet, you could probably never get, unless you don't know that yet, uh, you could probably never get to have clearance that early, but again, if it's quiet this evening, any few of us on the ground, so why not? Why not? We'll have a nice rolling takeoff as soon as we get to the runway today. <laughs> cool, Alpha 7, Alpha 6, Alpha 5.
Cabin crew, please take your seats for departure. We're already on our throttle, still doing 25 knots down here. So got our tail points already. Head down out of five. Nice high speed entry point for us. So start the chrono. That's then lights on. Responder set. Start the clock. And let's take off. Also 40. Engines one two stable. Sent ourselves on the runway. Flex. Now flex 50. SRS runway. Auto thrust is blue. And thrust is set. A little bit just left there. A little bit of winds worth fight against. But apart from that, 80 knots. Hundreds. Bird five four two Bravo three station stop ten triple five. B one rotates. Five four zero Bravo start station five three station north. Mister Wright, you're up. Station three station north. Station two station four zero plus information does allow current no significant change. That's information does current no significant change. Equal out. <clears throat> While the flight director out, throttle was used to climb as you pass through 1,000 feet. So we reset. Very short sleeve, start the hand bank, there we go. As we enter the first route, we're going to climb now, flight level 70. Climb level 70, Super 914 November. Steady, pull it set and sun, and then push over to autopilot. Apart from that, so far so good. Do not yet hit the speed to uh, track the flaps, because we have about 191 knots. And for now, flaps stay down. The director is ever so slightly pushing those down now, so we shall follow down to 10 degrees. Speed is now increasing. Flaps up. Perfect. I'm going to fire 7,000, sorry, and set. Plus 6,000. If you have 9141, you're in my first 9 unicorn 1 2 2 one two to just like first speed burn on all four November. Thank you for service, take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Right. Set send altimeter. Set send altimeter. Station, station, now closing unicorn one two two decimalate. now closing unicorn one two two decimalate. Do the seating. Twenty two. Pause fight on at the aircraft take over. Climb away from 10,000 now. We've got some increased level of 3.5, was it? Uh, check that. 3.5, yes, so. 
Play for a thousand sets. And what you also can do is. No, I'm going to explain what you set up manually, so climb right at 2,000 feet per minute. Because if I expedite climb, it goes just from 250 knots down to 220 or 230. I'd rather keep the current speed and therefore climb through our restrictions and eventually be able to be like, oh yeah, don't want to hold anymore. Okay, I'm climbing through to cruise. Oh! Okay, none of the controls came online. Perfect. Good evening, London Control. This is Speedbird 914 November, climbing through 8,000 on at the uh, destiny for two foxtrot departure. Why is this in frozen? Speedbird 914 November, London, good evening. Climb now to level 350. Climb now level 350 for Speedbird 914 November. Cool. <laughs> Aircraft did not like that. Uh, I know, so basically, with sim freezes sometimes, the Phoenix can get a bit excited with its flight dynamics. <laughs> that was an example of that. It is any satisfaction, I don't think. 95% still. I'm hoping it hasn't been feel that too badly. Imagine, no, if you're in an aeroplane, you're, you're in an aeroplane, you're climbing, 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 and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you freeze. Now, yeah, I think that's more down to. Yeah, I think that's just gas if you're reloading. <laughs> Gatwick Airport's still the bane of my life. Right, passing through 10,000, London lights come off. 914 November, direct Conan, Kilo off to November, Alpha November. Direct Conan for Speedbird 914 November. Now passing 10,000 feet, you may turn on larger portable electronic devices. Still shortcut there for us. Very nice. Speed back in the ND, I'm just going to be the rest of the the aircraft will start to notice those a little bit just to focus more on the speed now. So increase speed and then we'll choose the climb. And then very shortly we'll probably also turn off the uh, seal signs as well because at this point we're climbing to Conan. There's no waypoints, no deviation, no changes. It's just a straight line path now all the way through to uh, well, Conan. That's going to be an uh, English channel just before we enter Belgium. So here's our routing today. Pilot out of Heathrow. Uh, no fun direct to Conan, enter Belgium, cross Belgium, into Germany, and then start to send into Frankfurt today. Should be nice and simple. Thanks for ATC coverage. Uh, so London Control, uh, London Central Line, just had the uh, Heathrow Director. Brussels is unfortunately a bit quiet, as is Germany. The Frankfurt Tower is currently online. They've been online for 53 minutes, so if they're on for another hour, good chance we will be speaking to Tower at the other end. <clears throat> Right, it's passing through 13,000. See if I'm turn off now, I've got no problem with having them off. Unpacks, you can say the same. Let's get to it. The flight crew has turned off the fasten seatbelt sign. You can have it up and move around the cabin. Nice little six eight. I will say, Microsoft Flight Sim, when it comes to the sceneries and the vision effects, always, always going to be top class. Okay, frame rate a little bit heavy right now because of scenery, but uh, yeah, always going to be top class this. I'm going to shop with the city airport included. I'm excited. As I say, what happens is I go to Frankfurt. So, so th this is Plan B. Plan A was unfortunately cancelled on me. Uh, plan A, I was going to fly to Frankfurt tomorrow morning, uh, spend about four hours in terms of connection time, and then from Frankfurt, flying to what, New York JFK on an evening flight on board an Airbus A340-300. Unfortunately, the A340 was cancelled, and so I had to change all the plans around. I got moved on to a morning flight to JFK, which probably fair timing-wise works better for me. I now land about 2 3 p.m. Uh, also the 747 again, which I don't mind. I'm sure there's plenty of opportunities to fly the A340 again with the times in the next couple of years. We're out of Munich, to be fair, those are 600s, as opposed to 300s. But uh, yes, yeah, so I make my way over to uh, JFK, but the plan is now to fly this evening to Frankfurt, spend the night in a hotel, and then tomorrow morning make my way back out to New York. 
But yeah, I say should be a lot of fun. That should be a lot of fun. Very excited for it. Never been to America before. I should have gone in May 2020. So I bet the ticket British Airways. Boeing 747 400. Ticket in my hand. The flight was cancelled, and because of the pandemic, the entire fleet of 747s at British Airways were then subsequently retired, which still breaks my heart. I'll never fly a BA 74, but I can at least say it happened on 747. Okay, it's a Dash 8, not a true 400, 32, or 100, but it's still a 747, so I'm going to take it as what I can. I think the Tarzan also have a few, still have a few 400s left as well. They may fly the uh, Boston routes out of um, Frankfurt, so you never know. There is still a chance I could do like a Frankfurts to Boston to wherever back on the stage before. There's still options, still time. It's not the end of the world just yet. But uh, like at least I can now tick the 747 off my list tomorrow, provide that all goes well. I've been looking at the, well, tracking those flights the last couple of days. There have been a few, well, there's been one cancellation in the last week, and the three flights running really delayed. So I'm hoping that's uh, tomorrow when I'm on board. It should be a lot smoother. I uh, just got from uh, Paris, of course. Really enjoyed it. Again, K the KSI shows, the KSI and SFX, uh, fantastic. I'm not going to use the word, but it was fantastic. Really, really. It was, in fact, it's better than I expected it to be. Um, uh, we got eight renditions of um, SX's uh, expensive. And then, of course, KSI, top, top tune holiday. Really, I mean, I remember when I first heard holiday, I was at. I was in Barra, so I just went to Barra, and the bus was about an hour and a half, so I thought, okay, sit in the beach, cafe, bar, strike, airport terminal, they have um, MTV or some other music uh, channel on, and, uh, yeah, it's just, there came Care Size Holiday, and I really enjoyed that tune, got it on my phone and everything, yes, it's, it's a great song, so I enjoyed that, One, nine, eight, six. Paris control and now. then, One, two, eight. Uh, we've got, yeah, we've got Lamborghini, of an encore at the end of the show. Not expected, but really, really good. It, it was a great show. Again, I've been watching KSI now for about maybe 10, 15 years. I remember from the very early days, back when it was FIFA Funnies and, yeah, other stuff that he's no longer really so keen on bringing up. I've, I've always enjoyed KSI, and so to see him live, really, really good. You, you didn't think that, mate, wouldn't you? I've always been that posh. White West London mad, but no, no, KSI, all time in the world for him. To be fair, how much you've seen me at work, I've never seen the, uh, the more radical side of me. Then again, I think you guys on YouTube really see much of it either. On Instagram, you should follow my stories. In fact, if it was less than 24 hours ago, shit, no, no, it won't be. It would have been about 3 or 4 hours ago. Oh well, that's a shame. Uh, yeah, so, could you know, climb out, passing through flight level 240. At some point soon, we hand it back over to Unicom. Yeah, unfortunately, just going to fly a bit too far north for uh, Paris Control. We may get the tip of. Um, which, yeah, we may get the tip of Paris Control with the map. Let's just go on the very, very north edge of it. But, uh, we'll see how it goes for our flat crashing. Of course, there is the kind of waypoint, which will probably deviate us to the left of that point. Apart from that, I'm in a good mood. I'm off to America in 48 hours. Actually, I will be in America in 48 hours. Uh, flight leaves Frankfurt tomorrow at 11am, so what time is it now? 7.42 Zulu, so call it 6, 6.45. Uh, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so 12, 13, 15, 16. In 16 hours and 15 minutes, I'll be boarding a Boeing 747. 16, 15 16, to go. Boeing Control, good evening, Super 540 Bravo, on the runway to Sunrise, ready. Speedbird 540 Bravo, London Control, good evening, Speedbird 190. We'll be cruising actually very soon. Right, clear for takeoff. Yeah, clear for takeoff, 27 right, 540 Bravo. Uh, yeah, so, so the Galvis crews will then configure the approach we're expecting. Let's have a look at the quick, uh, well, let's have a look at the ATIS on arrival, so 
Frankfurt's uh, Fish 1013, Rub Runway 07 F07 right. Probably oh yeah. I don't know how this goes because in the very first the very first premiere I did for this flight in the A319, we did the approach onto 07 left and then got a visual switch to 07 center. And then doing the 747 return flights back to Frankfurt from Washington DC. Approach for 07 left, visual switch to 07 center. I'm so tempted to just configure 07 sensor because my last two flights into Frankfurt have done the visual switch. In fact, I'll even show you on the map how it looks. Uh, right, go to flights, go to Frankfurt. Go away. Uh, Frankfurt, Frankfurt, Frankfurt. There we go. <clears throat> right, so. Uh, that's the return flight. There you go. So this is the flight in 747, which is going to be released in a couple, well, in about a week, oh, just over a week's time. So see, we're approaching a little bit funny on the uh, localizer. We've got them to the localizer in the end. Visual switch to 07 uh, center because 07 left was our original runway for approach. So what should have happened? Uh, hang on, reset that. Let me see if I can. Uh, be about five four zero Bravo. Report your path. Uh, Bear with me, naval drawings. And 2,900 so, feet. That. Oops, that's terrible drawing. Five, four, zero, bravo. Climb flight level 120. I'll draw a straight line more. There we go. Five, four, so, three, that should be our approach. So, continue on this straight line here, all the way down to the rump. Can't draw straight lines to the runway. Instead, what we got was a visual switch to get ourselves lined on with this runway instead. Again, terrible drawings. Uh, if I go over to the other flight, which is Heathrow Frank Flight 319. Unfortunately, this is why I never get to see it because this is the odd flight I originally recorded for it. That was a thumbnail for it. Maybe one day I'll release this like a secret extra video. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Once again, if I look at the routing, got ourselves established onto the 07 center. Visual switch, 07 right. To land. Sorry, uh, zero seven. Yeah, sorry. For the left and sent south should be at centre. Uh, I don't. Uh, if a uh, heat, I don't mind too much. If it's the case of traffic that requires the change to make, take place, that's fine. I fully understand that. I could always reject the um, the changeover, but if the tower wants it, if it gets me short taxi, I'll have a little moan and I'll continue with it. And I've done it uh, twice at Heathrow on IDEO. Good nine one four November. Unfortunately, no further aid to do at this time. Over to Unicom, 1 2 to estimate first, we've been on for November. Thank you for service, dude. Take care and have a good evening. Bye bye. You too, bye. That's Unicom. Uh, yes, I've done it twice on OVO with Heathrow. One of them was during one of the Heathrow events. In fact, I think it was, um, it was doing the right thing we did that. So, if we returned to Amsterdam, we had some slow approaching aircraft in front of us. Which switch from left to right. The second occasion. Actually, no, I think it was one of the Heathrow RFE events where, because again, traffic in the runway or something happened, we just switched from the, uh, it was 09, so it was 09 left or something like that. I can't remember the second one, but yeah, I remember doing the right thing in Graham one, and that was due to a really slow 737, like 120 knots for the last 15 miles. So what I haven't done yet, I haven't checked the cabin. Uh, let me grab my seat number again, sorry. Airways 7F. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in my seat today is Yassine the Wild. Very good. Alright, let's go through the cabin. Oh, sorry, mail 21 going for business. Let's go through the cabin. Let's see who's on the flight today. Who is on board? Howard Chapman. Was that the former Arsenal? Uh, no, it wasn't. It was. It was. Ah! Herbert Chapman. Fair enough. Um, who else got on board today? <laughs> Dick Sharp. Very nice. Um, nobody stands out straight away, apart from our Herbert Chapman one a bit. <laughs> That's an innuendo right there. Um, 
No. There's a mix of uh, German and English here, of course, flying from the UK into Germany. But nothing particularly stands out about flight today. And they're four years old. Sorry, this one has to go on Snapchat. <laughs> yes, passenger Dick Cox on board tonight. Or four year old has to live that for the rest of their life. Cheers, Max. Just a few funny innuendos today, but no one, uh, well yeah, again, also, that's her name. How would you pronounce that? I don't know how I would. Um, yeah, very funny innuendos, but nothing too much to stand out for. We just entered Brussels now, we have crossed into land. Not super long, so I should have rolled time into Frankfurt today. And the clouds in the background, beautiful. Uh, right, so let's sort up our approach. So we'll go for Romain 07 left, knowing that it's going to almost guarantee a change. Uh, should I get the scans? Yeah, right. <clears throat> Flight plan, Frankfurt, arrival. Oh, wait, 07 is the active. Oh, sorry. I was wrong with two fives before. That was two five um, left and says ignore me. Yeah, everything left before ignore it. Oh right, if it's zero seven, then we're going to zero seven right for your rival. Yeah, we're not, not going to do the long runway. I'll zero seven right. Zero seven, sorry. All right. Let me start again. So the, the visual switch, I say, is guaranteed to happen. That's always going to happen. But I've got the airport slightly mixed up. Uh, right. So that's our runway set for landing. Zero seven ten, uh, right. <clears throat> we're, going, we're going to get a visual switch to zero seven cent out what's going to happen. We're not even going to touch that runway because I can't. Yeah, I'm not going to dare taxiing all the way from here. The back on ourselves, South Papa 1, then head south from November, 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 all the way through the tower, which or to Tange, kind of about this part of the airport. We'll have to go zero seven left or zero seven right, you can switch to center, duh, 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 duh. exit at maybe uh, Lima 1 1, Lima 1 0, and then just go straight in November. And to stand. That's what I'd like to do. So, 0, 7, right, I need, and that'll be via the. Uh, you know, code 3 Delta arrival. Insert that. Insert that. That's a good to go ahead performance. Uh, next phase. Next phase. The weather arrival. So it's 17 degrees centigrade. No, sorry, from top, sorry. Skin H is 1013. Temperature 17. Winds are variable at 1 knot, so we're going to from heading to 070 at 1. Nice and calm today. Transition 5000, and then the minimums today. We'll be using a approach chart. Seriously, I'm right on low flies up. Uh, minimums of 528. Barometer. Oh, that'll be fine. Cool. So that's our flight arrival input. Uh, there'll probably be a vector at the end, which I'm going to get rid of anyway, just to make my life a bit easier. So yeah, there's long. Yeah, approach one to phase. Ooh, maybe not. There you go, manual. So there is a like, just going to see an extension. So let's have a look how that looks. Plan mode zoom in. Uh, so, do you don't want to do that? No, look at the real life flight. It just flew in and then just made straight onto the air. And the localizer, so what I'll probably do is uh, ram up straight to. Yeah, ram up to 444. Four, four.
think. Uh, Rockstar. Okay. Don't trust it. It's four for four. I'm not quite sure where that is sitting, but. Uh, yeah, one thing I prefer the Boeing uh, FMS over the Airbus NCDU. Like, it's so much easier to input uh, my points. Alright, so I'll do that. And now, security should just lie between the final two waypoints this approach. So we'll clear that. Now connect, insert, and then I have one happy connection flight plan. Cool, that shall do. So top of drop is just after the speed points, about 80 miles. We're going to be, uh, not that one, sorry, I was going to progress. Uh, Progress again, falling apart in this aeroplane. <laughs> uh, there you go, progress. Um, what am I doing? It's an airbus, it just fell down. Right, top of drop, 1804 Zulu. It's now so about 10 minutes after cruise. That's fine. Anything else we need to do? Fixes, right. Foxtrot, Zulu 7, right. So, three fixes for that. E, D, D, F. Zero seven right. E D D F zero seven right. And E D D F zero seven right. Back right. Top cruise is thirty five hundred. So one zero five. Top drop. Ten miles for the localizer and four miles for fully established and uh, ready to land. So final checks. Do our nice little circles for us. Guidelines for our approach, perfect. Yeah, should be a nice little landing tonight. <clears throat> Let's put the flight as well in terms of departure time. Uh, so today's flight, 12th of September, part of, scheduled part of 17.05, part of 17.58, an hour behind. Uh, six, in fact, it doesn't fly very frequently, does it? So for that, was 6th of September, that was 16.30, part of 17.09. Don't have still green for on time. It's very late. Well, actually, I'd say that. It's 39 minutes. That one's 50, 53. <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully, it's going to be accurate. We hope so. <laughs> so I'm slowly sitting over Europe now. Screenshots now, just going to edit and then stick on to. Uh... Yeah, I didn't have to do that one, did I? Fair enough. Uh, yeah, features to edit and then stick on to um, Valanta. I just realised that the first one has the GSX pilot's board message on screen. I must have missed out of the screenshots. A little bit of uh, healing tool fix that. Cool, so top of drop is now in seven minutes. Cam satisfaction at 95%, and that's been pretty stable to flight today. So I'm going to tack as well, about uh, four degrees. Wait, why is it okay? It's going to be on the heavy side today. So, I mean, I know I'm excited for tomorrow. How about you guys watching the premiere, for those of you who are still here? You, you excited for tomorrow? You ready to, uh... I mean, I've not that long on this channel for a little while now. 
fair enough, not quite a live stream, but hopefully fills the void. <clears throat> At least for me in real life, it is going to be for a long haul flight. Longest flight I've ever done. 8 hours 35 uh, schedule flight time. If it returns a little bit quicker, only because of the Atlantic on the return flights uh, going east to west. Uh, no, uh, so east to west is headwind, west to east is a tailwind. So if you live in anywhere in Europe to return you back home to Europe, it's always a little bit quicker. I only reason I got a similar kind of duration, because I'm playing out of uh, Washington DC, not from New York City. Good. Screenshots today. Slay up and screenshots now because I need to crop them more for the module monitor setup. Yeah, MSF screenshots they are so good looking. It's worth doing it anyway. as well, just getting quite a view of the sun. Airport envelope. That airport is uh, St. Truiden. St. Truiden, I have lost them. Received. Have a look at that. And you had to there you see. Received. Ooh, free showers ops. <laughs> okay, nothing required. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thank you, uh, British Shares Head Office. Love the information you just sent us there. Absolutely nothing. But again, it's stuff like that the flyby does. Not flyby, sorry, this is Phoenix. Stuff like that the Phoenix does, which just again adds a little, adds a more detail, kind of what it can do and depth and stuff like that. It's, it's a great little aircraft, Phoenix. I mentioned flyby by accident, sorry, but even then, flyby the 320 Neo, very very good. In fact, I recently had the updates for the um, Satcom on the tail as well. The internet little box that goes on the rear in front of the airplane. Flyby, I need to fly it more often, I think. Dynamics feel very different to this. <clears throat> But the actual flying experience is still very, very good. Now approaching our top of drop. Very soon, start a descent and landing into uh, Frankfurt.
big passengers, <clears throat> start ascent. Ladies and gentlemen, our better from the flight's deck. We have just started off ascent into Frankfurt and we'll be landing in approximately 30 minutes. Landing in on the runway 09 side, so a nice straight approach today. Makes our life a bit easier and quicker and making our way in. Uh, up to weather for you right now, Frankfurt reporting a temperature of 16 degrees centigrade. No clouds, no wind in the area. Should be a nice and smooth approach to landing today as we try and bring you in a couple of minutes ahead of schedule. Uh, if you need to use the toilets, please do turn out, as we'll soon be preparing the cabin for approach and landing. But if you have any further questions, please carry on board and board. Otherwise, we hope you enjoy the rest of your flight to the British Airways today. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so we get a few seconds to progress to go through the cabin. So yeah, it's just 4,000 feet, which is the glide slope. And all that's left to do is land flying. <clears throat> Try to stop it. I don't know why. <clears throat> well, hopefully you can tell the cabin that. So on that's to do. Right. Press the button. Let's start on the sense. There we go. Took its time. Starting the scent. Just got the river sign just up ahead. Probably going that for a little bit of approach as well. I'm going to speak about 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, back about, back about 30 seconds. You just to quickly grab something from downstairs. Say, I'm flying tomorrow in real life to Frankfurt. So I'm just going to show everything today is finalised for, uh, for America tomorrow. So back in a bit.
Hello again. Right, back here. It should be for the rest of the flights. Let me approach. Absolutely beautiful tonight. Uh, copy the screenshot of that. Yeah, most likely we'll speak to Frankfurt today. They'll be online for our arrival. We'll be able to land about, what, 20 minutes if that? So, yeah, good chance to speak to them on the arrival. Continue descent down. 4,000 feet gets up to the localizer. Since it's relatively sharp, it, she's not really that sharp. We'll let the L now do the uh, final turn for us. And then switch over to the localizer, hit the top of the glide slope, which is a DME of. Speaking of DME, have to set up yet, yeah, haven't I? A DME of 11.5 miles, quite a value one actually. Uh, right, what am I doing? Go to radios. <clears throat> right, Frankfurt. 115 SM9. Set. There you go. Uh, Push around my delta. Correct. As soon as we're within range, that switch over. Cool. It's going to be nice than this. Let's see what signs on. As long as I keep the uh, landing rate relatively smooth, I think the lighting, the scenery, just everything about this will be very, very good. Yeah, my flight sim just. <laughs> it's always, always pretty. Like, look, look at this. Just just look at this. Please return to your seat as the seatbelt sign is now on. <clears throat> the vision aspects of my sim will always be the, the, the top thing of it. Okay, flight notes can be a bit off sometimes. Some of the aircraft can be a little bit off, so the default ones are out, and he fancy wants to improve them. But aircraft like the PME G737 family and the Phoenix 320, even Sightsim 747 does a pretty good job. Although I have some landing issues with that aircraft, you'll find out that later on. Uh, yeah, so stuff like Braydock and Captain Sim, and actually, I won't say the other one because they're not dead, do that kind of stuff, but certainly those two. Uh, yeah, don't, don't help, but we've hit a point now in Microsoft Flight Sim where now we've had two years of it and third party add-ons are starting to release and show themselves, it really does just pretty itself up and that's what I love about it. <clears throat> we're finally at that stage where Flight Sim truly is become the Flight Sim we all wanted. Yeah, and things will never change from but the third party add ons and the pricing that will always be kind of relatively high ish for the hobby because pricing is a niche. I'll analyze that for a minute. But certainly at a point where we're getting what we really want in the sim and it just gives us this beauty to look at. Again, I'm on the next main first release. Next main is still a top platform. Fantastic sim, don't bash it one bit. Next main twelve release, however, a little bit iffy. Which one's going to explain eleven for a bit longer? But certainly the uh, the rest of it. We have begun our final descent into Frankfurt. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin. Yeah, to so it's going to be grand. I right, said so the attendant to one zero one three. Please also store any carry-on items under the seat. Just anyway, so nothing lost there. Please complete all Wi-Fi related tasks. Last three thousand feet, landing lights on and on. Too fair. Look at you, there you go. 
That's the airport right there. So, airport is in sight. Clear skies. My neat winds. Should be really good. We'll get Frankfurt's tower on frequency. We'll just on standby. <clears throat> Get flight control replay up and running. So replay of a landing. Eight thousand feet. A320 into eight foot two. It's flashing nice in the background. Actually, in the uh, aircraft over there. Just a little bit. Don't be too slow just yet. Two falls down, that should be fine. Planning systems on and on. 24 miles DME. I'd like we're on the higher side, but I don't want them to be it. Uh, so, we pass that. Approaching Boston will be at 4,000. 7,500. Let me push that sound a little bit. Just like I said, I think we're on. Again, the, the aircraft semi were bang on, but I don't know, 3,000 feet and 10 miles. Uh, Bobster, I'm going to be there in. So, 1822, so now it's 92, two minutes to descend. 3,000 feet, so yeah, as long as you're 1,500, should be okay for that. There you go, so yeah, there's an aircraft in the short final, but. That is KLM 158, which is flown from Budapest into Frankfurt, 738. In front of that is a, a Europa. Oh, actually, that's about to part of Frankfurt to uh, Toulouse. And there we go, airport's in sight. Right, actually, can keep an eye on their track. What are they approaching? I don't know if they're doing a visual switch or just going straight into uh, centre. Going straight to centre. Well, we'll announce that going to the right, and then if they want to do a switch, then give us a switch. That's fine. We'll take it. If they give us to us, if they give it to us, we'll take it. Center, that's fine. All right, it's just uh, two hundred knots. Phase is activated. Cheers, thank you very much. Uh, brakes to medium. Spoilers on. Cabin crew, please take your seats for landing. That's one. Cabin crew, please take your seats for landing. 
straight onto approach mode. It's quite too active. And the approach altitude needs to be at uh, 4,000. Cool. Alright, say hello to Frankfurt. Good evening, Frankfurt Centre. We've heard 91 for November. Established runway 0 9 uh, right. Direction 07, right. 91 for November, Frankfurt Tower, good evening. Wind variable 2 knots, runway 07 right. Clear to land, vacate via Mike 9 approved. Uh, clear to land, runway 09, correction 07 right. Uh, and vacate via Mike, speedbird 91 for November. Uh, I've just taken off from Heathrow, so for some reason my mind's still stuck as we're at Heathrow 09. Alright, I need to. Vacate by Mike, they're all mics, so that's all fine. Cool, let's do this. 2,500. Just one. Let's go straight down to the approach speed and use that so the aircraft down progressively. Gear down. That's two. Side there, but nothing excessive. That's three. That's four. Right, pre line checks. Gear down at three greens, flat sets. Uh, so, yeah, gear down three greens, flat set, right set. Spoilers armed, camera secure, landing clearance received, pre land checks are complete. Let's do this, shall we? Kilo 158, taxi via Papa and November 11, hold shot of November. I'll submit, it was probably good for the switch. My last two lands at Frankfurt, so we've gone to Senza. I'm not complaining. <laughs> One life like this way, I guess. November 1 1 and hold out of November. 1000. Oh, that is nice. Alright, let's do uh, shall we? Save the approach. Also, I can come off. Airplane. I need some minor ships to stick there, see the clock steady. Parking that's looking pretty good. Knots, sixty knots, reverses, idle. And there we have it. Another happy landing. Here we are, welcome to Frankfurt. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Frankfurt. The local time is eight twenty-six p.m. and it's Let's currently about clock. sixteen degrees Celsius. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign is turned off. Remember Let's to use caution when opening the overhead bin. Down. Items That's may have been shifted during the flight. We thank you for flying with us and we'll see you again soon. Thank you for the starts. Men lights off, tax lights set. Speed by the number for November, runway is vacated, requesting taxi to the gates. 
We got 914 November, taxi via Mike and Tango, hold shot of Tango 4. Taxi via Mike and, uh, question. Taxi via Mike and Tango, holding short of Tango 4, speedboat 914 November. Alright, let's grab the ground charts. So, Mike, holding Tango, <coughs> holding Tango 4. Must admit, but no idea what that is. Uh, so we're on mic right now. There's Tango. Ah, hang on. Yeah, no, we're, we're somewhere on this bit here. Uh, sorry, should we put another one for November? Uh, I'm looking at charts. Could you, sorry, could you tell us where Tango 4 is? I can't find it on the uh, charts. It's on the taxiway Tango, on the left side there's a stop bar um, before runway 07 center, but uh, behind runway 07 center in the departure sector. It's not uh, to cross, it's behind. Roger that, I can see it now, cheers. Uh, so just behind the approach 25 center, so taxi and hold at uh, Tango 4, stupid man of one of them, but... Hey firm, I'm looking up your gate and I call it back. Cool, that's fine. <laughs> so I'm, just, I'm looking at the chart. Like, I'm looking at this, where's the stand? I can't see it. Nowhere to be found. But that's uh, that's fine. <clears throat> so we've got a slightly extended text today. Not the end of the world for us though. Do we go the rule? I fly. I actually land on the uh, left runway. I think I could have used that as an exit point. Oh well. So we go to two five, end of 25 cents up, hold short in front of the approach path for that, and essentially what it's going to do is now just to, well, allow the controller to clear any traffic and be on the approach at that point in time, or we're next to the departing in that direction. KLM 158, taxi to stand Victor 113 via November 11 and November. Taxi to uh, Victor 113 via uh, November. Uh, one one November KLM one five eight. Stuart Niner one four November taxi to position Delta four Alpha via Tango and November East cross Tango four. Uh, cool. A taxi to position Tango 4 via Delta 4 Alpha, Tango November East, and cro permission to co continue from Tango 4 from first speed at 9.4 November. Uh, position Delta 4 Alpha. November, your position is Delta 4 Alpha. Position is Delta 4 Alpha, speed at 9.4 November. The stand charts now. Channel 318, right. Channel 318, Nihau, the gate via Mike Niner approved, wind 070 degrees 5 knots, runway 07 right, clear to land. Clear to land 07 right, and vacating via Mike Niner approved. So we are taxiing to this stand here, Delta 4 Alpha, which is currently crossing down Tango. Uh, right, November East, which is going to be that one. Uh, switch speeds over to the APU when we already got it. Thank you. So, on our right, the Echoes, uh, Delta 4, just gonna... Oh, 
for the main taxiway bit. <clears throat> in fact, come on here, sorry, GSX will quickly, we set that as a stand. So it's all through crawl. And that's the deltas, delta for alpha. No point required. And hopefully the massive spawn of ground services should help me figure out where the stand is. There you go. Oh, very helpful. Ponza visual. Get yourself the tax slide as soon as we're on position. The lighting here doesn't help me very much, I must admit. Slides off. Get up on the ones have you. Come on, I need help. Start. Someone guide me. No? Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, ooh, hang on. Okay, yeah, no, this is a complete loss. <laughs> just, yeah, just, just, just stop. Parking brake sets. Eng <clears throat> Engine's off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Frankfurt. Look time right now, it's currently half past seven. Temperature outside at 16 degrees centigrade. We thank you for flying with uh, British Airways. We hope you enjoyed the rest of your evening. Camera crew, this on the little track, please. Thank you very much for flying with us today. Yeah, thanks for saying it was not very good parking. You didn't do a great job at guiding me into the stand. <laughs> oh boy, it is what it is. Alright, Jetbridge connects. Let's say goodbye to control up. Speedbird 9 for November is at stand. Thank you for service this evening. We'll be over to Unicorn. Thank you very much. We have 9 4 November, frequency change to proof. Thank you for flying. Bye bye. Alright, over to Unicorn we go. Uh, GSX, request the boarding. The boarding requested. Uh, overhead panel, get rid of the beacon lights. Have it! No, come, come at Jabberish, we need you. Well, I presume we need you, because of course we're unloading an aeroplane. <laughs> also, before I forget, uh, see bus signs off and off. And then you will. Uh, We'll dismiss, uh, dismiss that, just because I don't really want to fuss around with uh, both GSX packs and the Phoenix Sims uh, aircraft loading system. But yeah, no, no bad elements had a schedule, which would be good timing. Total flight time was uh, 1 hour, question, only 57 minutes that, 57 minutes to 24 seconds of airtime. Nice and quick today. Very much. Yeah, we should fill up. Of course, one of the passengers in that being me. Uh, yeah, so like I said, the plan is tomorrow. We're going to fly over to uh, New York JFK with the Tarns up. There's an aircraft in the area. Uh, yeah, there's a okay land there, taxiing to the runway. More taxi to stand. Let's have to what you're doing. You, sir, are. Uh, you are no taxi to Ah, yeah, you're taxi to stand. You landed before us. Because you went on to the 07 left, we had the, the mega taxi to go over today. There you go, remote sound as well. Uh, 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 uh. Thanks, GSX. Be a lovely little screenshot of passengers you boarding, and you've gone and done that to us. Like I say, temperamental, and it works, it's great, but it's just too temperamental. Right. And a flight report, let's have a look. So BA914, 320 from Heathrow Frankfurt, 55 minute flight time, plan departure, 34, plan arrival, uh, that's the time recording. 170 passengers, apparently a hard landing, I disagree with that. Really? Hmm, disagree. I'll save that. Uh, yeah, okay. Distant from my video. Thank you for the ATC both end today, much appreciated. 
finish recording the replay. And let us kill GSX. So I have the replay now. Bring ourselves for the uh look at that. Which is position. That'll kill Kutal, which is fine. Set the aircraft to uh engines on. And ground services we can remove. Let's have that from, <clears throat> from the passenger perspective, shall we? Okay, so we also kill the uh, lights, some settings, cabin lights. Off. There we go. So, anything left hand side? Nice and steady approach for the most part. The fan that comes in. Then you have a face as well, and take up part of the screen. Nice of you coming in. Hmm. I don't recall a bounce, I must admit. It's definitely just landing, time everything matches. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, what are you playing at, Sim? What are you playing at? On the right side, are you give me any other luck any luck from this side? Hmm. Very sus by that. I don't think I'm going to land gear view. Whatever's going on. Still run my side view. And let's call that a night. Come follow, speed increase. And let's just move some skin with the uh, a little bit further down the runway. Right. <clears throat> and from the front. That bad was it? <laughs> hmm. I'm not for suspicious landings, but that one just did not seem right. Well, anyhow, that's the end of that. So, like I say, plan is tomorrow. You know, I just better come back. Tomorrow, flying over to New York JFK, flying with the signs of Boeing 747, a lot to be excited for. I know I certainly am. And uh, yeah, another nine hours for in America. Well, plus time to go to sleep and all that. So, until then, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you already. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you soon for some more flights in action. Take care. Have a good one. Bye bye.